Good evening and welcome to our next episode of Cooking with Michael and Candace. And Candace! That's right, we're back. Another great episode, first of all. Thank you all for watching tonight's episode and, of course, for watching every episode we do. Um, another great uh, another great week, actually. It was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It was good. We could turn out. All right. Another great episode. But first, as always, we have to thank Andrew, Chapel Beer and Wine. If you're in the Germantown, Maryland area, stop by at Fox Chapel, uh, Fox Chapel Shopping Center. See, go to Chapel Beer and Wine. See Andrew. Tell him Mr. Mike or... Miss Candace. Miss Candace sent you. Have a great carry. Best selection of wine and beer in the entire Up County region of Montgomery County with the best prices. So check them out. And, and you got through it. I did. I did it all in one take. So you don't realize <laughs> that, but I did it all in one take. So a anyway, little. So a little. But tonight, uh, we decided to go for the full-fledged dish. Um, we're going to do a sausage, pasta, tomato, heavy cream. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. What's it called? It's just called food. Um, <laughs> well, we have to come up with a name for it. Alright, so I guess we'll just call it... Bow tie pasta with sausage and cream. And cream, there you go. So, we've had this dish... It doesn't show. need to be fancy in a language we can't speak. We can just describe it. What's Italian for it? Shit, if I know. I don't speak any Italian. Alright, well that's not Italian, but okay, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so it's actually a great dish. We've made it uh, several times, well I've made it sometimes for us. Um, it's actually your first time actually making it. Yeah, I've never made it. I just let him make it for me. Fantastic dish. So I'm going to show you what it's, uh, what the ingredients are. We're going to use bow tie pasta, which is actually called farfari. So we're going to use sausage. We, we actually tried a new butcher today. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It was awesome. We will be back. We will be back. Uh, it was an Italian butcher. He uses uh, This is actually freshly ground, uh, mild Italian sausage. Okay. With the condoms. I mean, with the, uh, with casings. the casings taken off. So we're going to use... Oh God. We're gonna Gary! use one and a half cups of heavy cream. By the Gary! way, the bow tie pasta is cooking as we speak because it does take a little while to cook. We're gonna use a half a cup of uh, diced onions. We're gonna use some fresh parsley. We're gonna use minced garlic, red pepper flakes, some salt, a 28 ounce can of plum tomatoes. Okay, just plain plum tomatoes that you actually cut up and coarsely cut up. We'll talk about that. Okay, some olive oil. Leave them chunky, basically. Leave them chunky. Chunky tomatoes. Oh, sorry. So that's the ingredients. Um, we're going to try to make it. First things first, we actually have, like I said, the pasta is cooking because um, it takes about 10 minutes to cook. So when that's done, we'll start uh, making the rest of the ingredients, put it together. Uh, we'll let it go. We'll show you how to make it and taste it, love it, and uh, go from there. So Hurry the fuck up. I'm hungry. Hurry the fuck up. She's hungry. So <laughs> we'll be right back when the pasta is done. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like SpongeBob, I'm ready. We now know what the cutaway for this week is going to be. Anyway. <laughs> I'm ready. 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 So we're back. Uh, the pasta's done. Tall people. Tall people. Tall All right. So it's just. Bow tie pasta that's called oh, farfarelli or whatever the hell it's called in people. Robert Tunnel is called it Italian. You're Italian. Put this aside for right now. We are going to do our next steps. We're going to make the sauce that goes into it. Real simple. First things first, take some olive oil. Two tablespoons of olive oil is good, but really just, just enough to just enough to coat it. You know. You know how well I am with uh, measuring. With measuring. Turn it on. About medium, medium high. And get that nice and nice and now uh, warm. When it's done, we're gonna take the sausage that we got from our new uh, our new found uh, butcher. Uh, great sausage. Um, again, we took the casings off already, and you're gonna crumble it, put it in there, and brown it. Okay. And it was only two dollars more than yes. the styrofoam and plastic mass-produced sausage you get at your grocery store. Right. Is it worth an extra two bucks to get a much better like a fresh quality? Day. Yeah. yeah. So we were brought it home and the truck smelled all the way home. We could go, the truck smells like sausage. It was so good. But anyway, so we're going to just going to brown that with the onions and the, we're going to use garlic. Now they call for three cloves of garlic, but you know us, we use minced garlic because we're we lazy and lazy. Yeah. So, um, it's basically three teaspoons of garlic, uh, the minced garlic equals three cloves. So we're going to cook that with the onions, the minced garlic, put it in there, get it all nice until the the onions are nice and soft, and then we'll go the next Soggy one. Soggy and translucent. 
So we'll wait that heats up. We'll be right back. All right, so that is ready to go. We're gonna take the sausage. Uh, we're gonna just basically put it in there, brown it. Again, you want it nice and crumbled. Sausage. Nice and crumbled. And we're gonna put it in here. And you can hear it start to uh, sizzle. Sizzle. Put it right in there. We're gonna take the pepper flakes. Okay, crushed red pepper flakes. You wanna use about a quarter of a half, quarter to half a teaspoon. And actually, now we're gonna take the onions. Again, yes. using Don't our pick. cry. Yeah, oh God, it was very <laughs> fresh. Um, so we've, uh, you know, Pamper Chef, thank you, Gina. Uh, our Pamper Chef container. We're already cut up the diced the onions. Put those in there. And the really awesome thing about those little glass bowls from Pamper Chef is they actually have the measuring marks on them. Yes. Which is awesome. You don't have to go and chop it up and then measure it before you put it in your bowl. So what you want to do is you're going to keep stirring this until um, it's brown. And again, the onions are basically nice and soft and cooked all the way through. Don't let it sit, otherwise it will burn. Do not walk away from it at all for anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up and uh, we'll show you what it's like when it's all done. Be right back. Go ahead. Flounder. Flounder, camera, Karen, Flounder. Okay. Flounder's a little angry right now. Just real quick, the one thing about this, it's still browning. Um, if you get fresh sausage, you won't have any uh, oil to or grease to drain. If you get the stuff from your big box grocery stores, mm -hmm. you will have some to drain. What you want to do is make sure all that grease is, is drained out of it too because you don't want that in the sauce. Although it adds a little bit of flavor, it also um, makes it a little bit more slimier. Um, just something that I, I'm not a big fan of. You don't want sugars. that fat floating up at the top. You yeah. don't want to see visible fat in it. So, yeah, so um, anyway, just want to say that while it's still cooking, and uh, we'll be right back. Angry cat. Can agree you. All right, so it's just about done browning of the sausage. Onions are good, what have you. So now we're going to add the rest of the mixture. We're going to add three teaspoons of minced garlic, which equals three cloves. Oh. So one. Two, two, three. Three. It's like it's like the count from Sesame Street. No, it's like how many set licks did you get to set up a tootsie bottle? Oh, that too. One, yeah. two, three. <laughs> three. Mm -hmm. It's the owl. Anyway, then we're gonna take the heavy cream. I've already got an extra toilet paper, just so you know. So cup and a half of heavy cream, pour it in there. You wanna take a 28, 28 ounce can of tomatoes, the plum tomatoes, unseasoned. I think this one had a little bit of basil in it, but it's really yeah, unseasoned. Yeah, it's just basil. Um, you want to coarsely chop it, which is just basically just kind of chop it up a little bit without making it real fine or anything like that. You can see it's got the sauce that comes with it, what have you. Um, and then you're going to pour that in there as well. And just a little bit of salt. And what you want to do is from here, you want to stir it all in, and then you want to simmer it for 8 to 10 minutes. So you want to turn the heat back up. Get it to boil, so and then uh, that's how you get started simmering. Get it to boil. When it's boiling, you turn it back down to a lower temperature. Sometimes on the simmering, you want to cover it. In this case, you're not going to cover it. The reason why you ten minutes, you want to make sure everything is all mixed in and it's actually cooked together. Okay. And again, double check those onions, make sure because you don't want crispy onions in there. Once that's done, we'll put the pasta in, stir it all up, and then we'll uh, try it and go from there. So. We'll be right back when this is uh, done in about 10 minutes. All right, just real quick, while it's getting ready to simmer, you actually want to do this until it turns, uh, or until it starts to thicken. Um, that's really when you know it's done. The sauce is thick. It'll take about 10 minutes, like we said, so just wanted to make sure we get that in there. All right, so we've got about 20 seconds left to go in the sauce. It does really just take about... So it's done. So now what we're going to do is I'm basically going to turn this down to low, as low as you possibly can, turn the timer off. And then I'm going to take the bow tie pasta and I'm going to just stir it right into the sauce. And you want to stir it in just long enough to get everything all kind of warmed up and, and coated. And so mix it all up, get the pasta in there, let it maybe go for a minute or so if that, make sure that so the pasta is nice and, and hot, what have you. Get everything all nice and mixed together. That's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and we're going to put it on a plate. Alright, so let me show you what it looks like. Tall people, tall people, tall people. So you can people. see, 
Tall. It's just a great sauce on top of bow tie pasta, real easy. Tall. And we're gonna try it. Worst case scenario is you got DoorDash. Fuck, that's hot. No shit. I love this recipe. It's easy. It's even easier when you have him do it. Facts. So really easy. So it takes, the prep time is about 10 minutes. Uh, the cooking time is about 10 minutes. So you're talking like 20, 25 minutes total for a great, great, great date night dinner. Um, again, it makes you look like you've been in the, the kitchen all day long cooking away to make your uh, date night think that uh, you're fantastic. So, because again, at the end of the night, the whole idea is, I do that just to piss her off. But anyway, great date night dinner, real easy, um, heavy cream, sausage, uh, red pepper, bow tie pasta, some minced garlic, salt, uh, plum tomatoes. Oh yeah, and uh, oh yeah, parsley. I forgot the parsley. Take parsley. And why do we use parsley? Presentation is everything. Presentation is everything. So take a little bit of the, the parsley, nice and chopped up, just sprinkle on top of it, put it on top, and then uh, go for it, eat it, love it, and go from there. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Another great quick dinner. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Try it, love it, tell us what you think. Please, please, please check out our website, cookingmichael.us, all kinds of stuff on there. Um, and we're gonna be revamping the website again here coming in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, we'll put some other stuff up there, including recipes too. So we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep uh, showing you what uh, what is a great date night dinner. So. And I'm gonna keep stuff in my face. She's gonna keep stuff in your face. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you every Saturday night, next Saturday night, but every Saturday night, 8 p.m. on Cooking Michael. And Candace. And Candace. Good night, everyone. Good night. Sausage, laxative, and then everything else. Laxative. Hurry up and cook. I'm hungry, damn it. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. All right, we're gonna make another great dish, but of course, first, we're going to, uh, shit. Shouldn't we have done that before? <laughs>